Hello, my name is Raymond Kulala. I'm a CRNA and I will do a demonstration of how to do a proper anesthesia machine checkout. A big thing is to use a checklist so that you can reduce error and also to help you learn. We will be using the FDA guidelines set out in 1993. The first thing we need to do is to verify that we have emergency backup ventilation. Primarily, we use an AMBU bag. Make sure that there's a mask present and also that the bag can compress and also release. The next thing we will do is do a high pressure system check. The backup cylinders are usually on the back of the machine. There is usually a chuck key hanging on the back of the machine. The chuck has different hole configurations to allow you to, to attach them to the tank valve. To open the tank, you turn the chuck counterclockwise. This oxygen tank is empty, indicated by the gauge at zero. Also notice this gauge has a picture of a cylinder on it. You need to verify that the oxygen pressure is at least 1000 psi. The next thing you want to do is to ensure that the oxygen cylinder is closed. So just go into the reverse fashion and a clockwise fashion this time until it's fully closed. The next thing you want to check in the high pressure system is that your lines are connected to the wall outlets. Oxygen again is usually denoted by green, nitrous oxide blue, and air is yellow. You'd actually push it in and release. And in order to connect it, you have to push it back. Note the pipeline gauges do not have a picture of a cylinder and have much lower pressures you need to verify these gauges read about 50 psi. The next thing is to check the low pressure system. Close the flow control valves by turning the knobs clockwise. Also note that the floats are at zero. Now make sure the vaporizers are in the off position. And if applicable, tighten the fill caps and check the fill level. Another part of the low pressure check is to ensure that the master switch is to the off position, which is denoted by the circle with the line. The next thing you want to do is to connect a suction bulb to the common fresh gas outlet and then flip the common fresh gas outlet switch. This opens the system. Now you want to squeeze the bulb repeatedly until it becomes flattened. Now that you notice it's flattened, you want to ensure that this happens and stays closed for 10 seconds at least. Now open each vaporizer one at a time. Sometimes you'll notice the suction bulb will lose its vacuum so you'll need to squeeze the bulb until it's collapsed. Now repeat the previous steps for each consecutive vaporizer. Make sure to close each vaporizer when you're done. Next you want to remove the suction bulb and close the common fresh gas outlet switch. Now turn the machine master switch to the on position. After turning on the machine, the oxygen float will rise to a minimum flow of 50 ml per minute. The next thing you want to do is to test the flow meters. Adjust them to their full range to ensure that they're smooth operation. Attempt to create a hypoxic oxygen to nitrous mixture and verify correct changes in flow and or alarm.
Notice the nitrous knob turns automatically as the oxygen flow is decreased. Now check and adjust the scavenging system. Ensure proper connections and adjust the waste gas vacuum. Turning the knob counterclockwise increases the suction and vice versa. Now fully open the APL or pop-off valve then occlude the Y piece. So with minimum oxygen flow, allow the scavenger re reservoir bag to com collapse completely. Note on your pressure gauge that it doesn't drop below zero. Activating the oxygen flush valve and occluding the end of the Y piece, you want to ensure that the pressure does not rise above 10. Next part of checking the breathing system is to calibrate the oxygen monitor. We want to open the oxygen monitor door and unscrew the actual oxygen monitor. Sometimes it can be difficult to unscrew and expose this to room air for a few minutes. In order to calibrate the oxygen sensor, you press the menu button, turn the knob counterclockwise until you can select setup and calibration, push the knob, again turn it counterclockwise until you get to oxygen sensor cal, and then press the knob again to start. First thing you want to do is complete the 21% calibration, again that's blackened out right there. so. Press the knob, and then start calibration. You'll see that I'll say reinstall sensor after cal complete. Now you want to reinstall the oxygen sensor, insert it, and turn it clockwise, and then close the door. Activate the oxygen flush valve, and you'll notice and you want to verify that the oxygen level goes above 90%. The next thing you want to do is check the initial status of the breathing system. You want to ensure that the switch is set to bag mode. You want to ensure that the breathing circuit is undamaged. Check it at the Y piece. Check that the tubing is undamaged and that it's connected to the machine properly and is tight. You also want to verify that the CO2 absorbent is adequate. The next thing is to perform a leak check of the breathing system. You want to ensure that all the flows are set to zero or minimum. You want to close the APL pop-off valve by turning it clockwise. You want to occlude the Y piece and then use the oxygen flush valve to pressurize the system to 30 centimeters of water. Yep. With the system pressurized and verified that it remained pressurized for 10 seconds, you want to release the pressure by opening the APL pop-off valve. Now we want to check the ventilation system and unidirectional valves. Place a second breathing bag on the Y piece then set appropriate ventilator parameters and then switch it to automatic ventilation. Fill the bellows and breathing bag with the oxygen flush valve. Now set your fresh gas flows to about 5 liters per minute and ensure that proper tidal volumes are being delivered. Now you want to switch the ventilator back to the bag mode. Adjust the APL valve and ventilate manually and assure inflation and deflation of the artificial lung and appropriate feel of the system resistance and compliance. Next, remove the second breathing bag and connect the mask. Now you want to check, calibrate, and or set alarm limits of all monitors. After checking the final status of the anesthesia machine, 
That concludes our checkout procedure. To remove the CO2 absorbent canister, you must first pull the handle out and turn it clockwise until it stops. Take each canister and shake it to prevent channeling. Place the canisters on top of each other, place them back into the holder, and turn the handle counterclockwise until it locks. To remove the oxygen tank, turn the handle counterclockwise. Remove the tank. Notice the pin index safety system. Check the O-ring for integrity and replace it. Now reinsert the oxygen tank and align the pin index safety system. Replace the latch and turn the handle clockwise until hand tight. To engage the lock, push down. To disengage, pull up. 